jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. <laughs> Father Christmas is just leaving to deliver some presents when his wife spots he's got an umbrella. What's that for, she asks. Well, says Santa, it looks like reindeer. Yes, dear viewers, it's Christmas Eve again. And just like you and me, Basil can't wait to open his presents. Give him here. Not till tomorrow, Basil. <laughs> well, if I can't open one, at least I can give one. Uh, Mr. Stephen? This is from me. Basil, Stephen's not a little kid. I'm sure he can wait. <gasps> is it a car? <laughs> a motorbike? <gasps> No, it's some um, keys. <laughs> boom, boom. <laughs> hey, have you guys seen the Christmas menu? It looks great. Uh, yes, but looks can be very deceptive. Uh, half the sage and bunion stuffing coming on, Mr. Anil. Nearly ready. <laughs> well, at least the leftover turkey sandwiches sound OK. Mm. They're left over from last year. And last year, they were left over from the ten years before that. Uh... It's true. My turkey sandwiches are 15 years old today. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to... <laughs> Keep that up, Matt. And you can have the stuffing for free. Ho, ho, ho. What's all this? Christmas is not a time for anger and harsh words. It's a time for friendship and understanding. So why don't you two get into the Christmas spirit and give each other a hug, eh? Oh, what a lovely speech. <laughs> That'll certainly fill everyone with Christmas cheer. Oi! Beardy! Put a stocking in it. Or clear off if you're not going to order something. So much for Christmas cheer. <laughs> Turkey sandwich, please. <laughs> Merry Christmas! <laughs> <laughs> And a happy new food poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, Mr. Stephen, grab him! <laughs> well done. <laughs> supposed to do with him? We don't even know who he is. We could phone round all the shops and see if any are missing a Santa. Well, I checked his wallet. For ID? No, for money. <laughs> oh. I found an address. Mr S Claus, North Pole. S Claus? It can't be. <gasps> it is. He's got labels in his socks. This is amazing. Actual scientific proof that Santa exists. Santa. Santa, wake up! I can't believe it. We've poisoned Santa. He'll be all right, won't he? No. He's dead. You'll be fine in a day or two. <laughs> That'll be too late for Christmas. What are we going to do? There's only one thing we can do. We're going to do his job for him. This year, we are Father Christmas. Right. The first thing we need is money. Oi, Prancer and Dancer, where do you think you're going? Nowhere. Now, I've asked Miss Molly to work out exactly how much we've got between us. I've added up all the money we've got in our bank, our savings, our spare cash, and all the money we'd get if we sold everything. That sounds promising. How many noughts are we looking at? Oh, just one. It all adds up to nothing. <laughs> oh, never mind. We'll have to make the presents from scratch. After all, that's what Santa does. Yeah, but he's got loads of elves to help him. 
Well, I always said your elf was important. <laughs> <laughs> so, come on, Basil, what's the plan? Right, yes, well, uh, Miss Madison here will make us all Santa outfits. Master Dave will use his dodgy skills to get us stuff to make the presents from. Mr Stephen, you'll be making the presents. And I will be supervising. Hang on. How come Molly's not got anything to do? Miss Molly's task is the hardest of them all. She's got to work out how we can deliver presents to every child on Earth in one night. Oh. Even taking into account the different time zones and putting our clocks back, if we start at 6pm on Christmas Eve and travel as fast as we can, we won't be finished until... Boxing Day. Well, that's not too bad. In the year 8,210. <laughs> what if we don't stop for tea? Uh... Basil, it just can't be done. It's impossible. Ha! They told me it was impossible to build a spaceship entirely out of sandwiches. Did it work? No, but it tasted delicious. <laughs> Boom, boom! <laughs> oh, come on, Miss Molly. You keep trying. I'll see how Mr Stephen's getting on. <laughs> you should get some ointment for that. Why? Because it's a nasty-looking saw. <laughs> <laughs> boom, boom! Do you mind, Basil? I'm working. So this is what it looks like. I've never seen him work before. <laughs> Brilliant. What is it? <laughs> it's a train. <laughs> or a boat. <laughs> Could be a horse. <laughs> I hope that's not the best present you've made. No, I've made loads of great stuff. Oh. <clears throat> I made a kite! Entirely out of metal! <laughs> Look at it go! <laughs> okay. How about Captain Terrible Superhero Action Figures <laughs> with detachable arms? This is a disaster. Oh, if we're going to get all the presents made. We need an injection of pure energy. And there's only one ball of hyperactivity up to the job. Oh, you don't mean... Not bingo! Sounds like it's coming from the fireplace. That's weird. We haven't got a fireplace. We just had it for the Christmas show. <laughs> Sounds like there's something stuck. Your chimney. <laughs> no need to thank me. <laughs> Hi, Uncle Baz. Oh, thanks for coming, nephew Bingo. <laughs> we need your help in making Christmas presents. You can count on me, Uncle Basil. Mm. I love Christmas. Oh. In fact, I love it so much I got you an early Christmas present. Oh. It'll make you scream with joy. Oh, yeah, that's awfully kind of you. What is it? One of these. <laughs> <laughs> Told you it would oh. make you scream. <laughs> now you've got a lot of stuff there. Where on earth did you get it? I'd rather not say. All right then. <laughs> Who's eating the tables? It's quite simple, nephew Bingo. All I need you to do is help make a billion presents in three and a half hours. Get going, my lad. I'm counting on you. <laughs> While I have a nice cup of tea and a ginger nut. I don't know if you can...
can hear me, Mr. Claus, but we're all doing our best. Everyone's flat out, especially Mr. Stephen. <laughs> I can't tell you what a privilege it is to just be in the same room as you, Mr. Claus. You're my hero. <laughs> yes, no. <coughs> Maybe I'll leave you to it. Never heard Santa do that before. Must be the turkey sandwiches. <laughs> what happened? Everything keeps disappearing. The only thing left is the food. Yeah, I'd have caught that too, but I couldn't bring myself to touch it. Mm. <laughs> so no chance of a table then? Oh, I'll see what I can do. Well, this isn't so bad. That's a matter of opinion, Mush. <laughs> now, there's one very important task we haven't even considered yet. Who actually gets a present? We've got to decide who's been naughty and who's been nice. Ow! <laughs> right, he's not getting one for a start. Oh, I'm very sorry, Uncle Basil. Please forgive me. I'm only little. Darn. <laughs> I'm such an old softy. <laughs> all right, Bingamy lad, I can see you're sorry. And as it's Christmas, I'll forget all about it. <laughs> Can you forget about this one, too? What? No! Hang <laughs> on. If we were to decide that every child in the world has been naughty, then we wouldn't have to deliver any presents. We could keep them all for ourselves. <laughs> and you can go right to the top of the naughty list for that suggestion. That's not fair. Basil, you can't cut people off the Christmases because they've annoyed you. Mm -hmm. Christmas is supposed to be a time of forgiveness. I think everyone deserves a present at Christmas, no matter what they've done. If that's not the spirit of Christmas, I don't know what is. Right, I'm crossing you off the list for overacting. Basil! All right, all right. Everyone gets a present, no matter what they've done. I'm really proud of you, Basil. It takes a big fox to be so forgiving, especially in the case of Cousin Mortimer. <laughs> I'd forgotten about him. Everyone gets a present except Cousin Mortimer. Oi, oh, that's not fair. Christmas means just as much to me. Darling, we've been burgled. You can't yell. I'll call the comments. Oh, it's, I've come home early. <laughs> <laughs> so that's agreed. Everyone except Mortimer gets a present this Christmas. That means we're going to need a lot more presents. And a lot more time to deliver them in. Well, as one walnut said to the other, let's get cracking. With time running out, disaster strikes. The gang have run out of things for making presents. It's true, Uncle Paz. Then there's only one solution. We must give away our prized possessions. I could give away my maths books. I doubt it. <laughs> My autograph book. 300 letters from top celebrities. All refusing to lend him money. <laughs> this is my first ever piggy bank. I hope it goes to a good home. <laughs> Better just check there's no money in it. <laughs> well... That's it. We're all set. Not quite, guys. The sandal suits are ready. <laughs> 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 
Miss Madison, you've done us proud. We love them, isn't it right, everybody? Yeah, yeah. No. How come I look like an idiot? <laughs> it's a good question, Mr. Stephen. I've wondered about that for years. <laughs> I think I look cool. Well, you guys are the elves because you made the presents. <gasps> Such a shame we've already used up our weekly quota of elf jokes. Are we only allowed one? Yes. It's a requirement of elf and safety. <laughs> boom, boom! <laughs> OK, chaps, this is it. We're ready to go. Molly, it's time. Tell us how we're going to deliver all the presents in one evening. We can't. What? I'm sorry. I've tried and I've tried, but it just can't be done. Look. You see the problem? Imagine just for a second, we've all got the brain of a Stephen. Yeah. Hey! Look, it's mathematically impossible. No matter how I do it, the shortest time we need is 654,000 hours. And we've only got nine. Sorry, I failed. I just can't make the sums work out. Not without cheating. So it might work if you fiddled it? Well, of course you could cheat. But even then, you need the biggest cheat in the whole world to pull it off. Hmm, viewers. If only we knew someone who fitted that description. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, he's not here, is he? I know how to get him here. Just put something down, turn away, and count to three. One, One two... <laughs> <laughs> Oh, please, insanity! I must have been imagining like his watch. It's rubbish! <laughs> bang, bang! Well, right. once he's shown his your Christmas stockings. <laughs> Mortimer, this is serious. We need your help. Is there some way of cheating this equation so the answer comes to nine hours? You what? <laughs> Well, it's, it's straightforward. You give you on the chalk dust. I'm just no, carry that. And there, aha! The oh, ah, yes, and ah. Now, is this what you mean? Well, obviously, but you can't do that. Why? Well, because it's cheating. And. <laughs> Brilliant, Cousin Mortimer. How can we ever repay you? <laughs> I'll take the blonde. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'll take you. <laughs> oh, no! no I'm so stalled! There's, yeah, there's no... <laughs> <laughs> well, we need all the help we can get. <laughs> you can count on us. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> India, Anil, thanks so much. We really appreciate it. <laughs> you know, chaps, even with everyone pitching in, it's not going to be easy. We're going to have to really pull our paws out if we're going to give all this stuff away in time. I'm sorry, um, Did you just say, give stuff away? <laughs> That's right. Come on, we've got nine R's. But... <laughs> Giving stuff away. I don't get it. <laughs> Giving stuff away. <laughs> Giving. Is it French? <laughs> stuff away. <laughs> giving stuff away. <laughs> giving stuff away. Oh, we did it. <gasps> I did it! 
giving stuff away is like nicking stuff, only in reverse. <laughs> oh, well done, Cousin Mortimer. <laughs> Maybe there's a bit of Christmas spirit in you after all. <laughs> We should go see if Santa's awake. Oh, it'll be big relief for him to know we've done it. Mm. Hey, uh, hope he's wearing a name tag, or he'll be very hard to spot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> ah, he's left his watch. Yeah. Excuse me. <laughs> 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 Oh, <laughs> what day is it? It's Christmas Day. Oh, no, I've slept through it. Oh. No, no, it's all right. We did your job for you. Oh, thank you. That's so kind. I hope the shop didn't mind me sending someone else. <sighs> I beg your Christmas pudding. <laughs> I work in a supermarket grotto. We thought you were the real Santa. Ho, ho, very funny. Did you get that out of a cracker? <laughs> but your name tag is Claus. Yes, Simon Claus. That's my name. No, your address, North Pole. <sighs> North Pole, Midwich Town. North Pole Road. It's two bus stops away. <sighs> I don't believe it. I mean, we totally cleaned ourselves out for nothing. Not for nothing, Master Dave. We've done a great thing for all the kiddies all around the world. That's all right. We should be proud of ourselves. I mean, we haven't got any presents or decorations or anything, but I feel this has been the best Christmas ever. I'm glad we did it. Well, I'm glad you're all glad. Now, if you don't mind, I'm still not feeling very well. Will you let me sleep? A little. <laughs> oh, yes, of course. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Let's leave him to rest. We can go and sit around the fake fireplace and tell each other what we would have bought them for Christmas. <laughs> He forgot the music. He didn't. 